right, so Yevans just that. Kashi, Dantooine's done. Manon's done. Uh, Tatooine is done. Looks like we're going to Kashyyyk, and we've got Korriban. Uh, let's go to Kashyyyk. Hi ho, Silver! Hi! Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Oh shit. We do that just to like show how badass he is. Walks in the room and fucks something up unnecessarily. Somebody's gonna fix that shit now, bro. Find Bastila and bring her to me. Alive, if possible. As you command, Master. Oh boy! Kashyyyk! You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. Kashyyyk is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Well, la di da Karth, yes, you being a bitch? Kashik is covered by a giant forest, I hear. Trees kilometers high. The Wookiees live in the higher branches, I think. Well, that's all I can think of it anyway. Kilometers high. You got it. That is some tall ass trees. How can I help? <laughs> You've had like five minutes. You good now? You have been patient with me, haven't you? Yeah, oh yeah. I suppose you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. Sure, you're gonna deny me now, even though, like I said, I've got one of those like chintzy ass little futon beds. I still haven't gotten a better one yet, but I'm working on it. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to, and thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. 
Every time I try to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. What's I don't know if it's due the to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. Sorry, Bastila, that starship won't fly. I'm not interested. Oh no, that's no. We're 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 putting this we're putting this to the dirt. If you know what I'm saying. The force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, I would return to Dantooine. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. Just give in to the dark side of my pants. Zip. You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways, you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. Oh, let's be cheesy as fuck. Get out the ro guns and roses! Break it out! I wanna lay you down on a bed of gears, cuz. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear. But I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result I'll of bet you be lying. Bond. You be lying. You be lying. <laughs> oh, how sass do we want to get? Please don't say it like that. You make it sound like I was using you. Don't you realize how difficult this was for me? You're afraid to face your feelings! Oh no, what about me? Why do you think I came to this decision? I know how hard this is for both of us. You just kept pressing forward, so I had to be the one to step up and do the right thing. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? Because sexual release is an important part of human nature, and damn it, I've been pent up this whole trip with only a fucking Wookiee and a cat lady to look at, and the droid isn't prepared to give me blowjobs. Candace has been looking at me fucking weird too, and that's not freaking comfortable. Shit's blue! How can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. Uh-oh. <laughs> My doorbell's ringing. I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. You know I'm right. The second line seems like something Fabio would say. <laughs> but I don't... I mean, I can't. Malik will... <laughs> <laughs> yes! Shut up and kiss me, you babbling fool! Oh my. Oh my! <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to come <laughs> It didn't feel wrong to me. It was... It was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have. 
I'm sorry. No, I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. Oh. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not while we still have to deal with Malak. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together. Score! <laughs> <laughs> oh man fade to black everyone's got to use their imaginations oh uh, look at him does he look like a bad kisser yes for a couple reasons one he's ugly as sin and two he's wearing a fucking visor from the 90s doesn't matter though she still wants the d All right. Maybe Candorus will stop looking at me funky now. I'm not gay, Candorus, damn it! Just fucking made up with Basta. Yeah, don't, it's freaking fucking right you look away from me, bitch. All right. I feel like we should bring Zalbar with us. That might be a an intelligent. Why does everybody have a docking fee? Why? The force should not be used for profit and personal gain. Get out of here with your nonsense. I'm not paying your Zerka Corporation. You can Zerka suck my D. I think I'm paying that nonsense. Fuck out of here. Even Obi Wan Kenobi did that shit. Huh! This one's actually a. Uh... I don't know if I've have I walked past a bunch that are actually like able to be opened because usually they come up pretty easily and I don't walk past because I usually like go through my list of things in the area like this so it's hard for me to miss shit. Not all of them are uh, able to be. Where in the fuck is Bell? Yikukuno no ba mulera chikun. Tong hit kun chunching, jedo bado wana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya, tong patukas magtale. Runda di hotong. Runda di gandunga. Kundes ching palamule, tong king ba nunotek. Tuk ni ta kung jus tak miki grabul mogo, kachichu ita bodunga. Tolbabank, Waleo Ganda Naru Chut Kachikun Ida Hodonga Yikin Kuno Bamulera Chikun Slimo Podona Rundi Hodunga Ku Hunkabe Tong Haitwam Jiji Jum Lumpa Nita Poe Tikitu Dolpha da Bong Waleo Gandona Chuchut You just said that same line. Oh, 
Kachichu ita Bondunga, Tolbabank, Wale Oganda Nalu Chuchut. Kachikun ita Hondonga, Iking Kuno Pamulera Chikun, Slimo Podona, Runga di Hondonga Kun Hongabi. On a kun bez ching palamule tung king ba no no te? Mucha shak fa khat. Ki no no dama pao le rachikun. Ka chikun ita hao donga. Ye king kuno pa mule rachikun. I was waiting to see how long it was going to take for him to to jump in there. Hey kid, you look a little more awake than I thought you would. Did you manage to fall asleep last night? Yeah. Yeah. Near do I. It was ridiculous last night. Well, that, yeah, that didn't help either, obviously. I was pretty tired and I still couldn't fall asleep last night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um. Lay just stopped by before you got home, dropped off an LT. Just downstairs on the uh, island. Yep. And yeah. Yep. So, what did you want to try and put on to go along with what's left of dinner? <laughs> oh. Well, if you want to make a grilled cheese, are you talking about giving me the leftovers and having a grilled cheese for yourself? Or having a grilled cheese with the leftovers? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Eat what you want. I'll be down to eat whenever I'm ready to eat. Okay. Come on. We're over here. Come on over here. Come on. Thank you. Achuta. Achuta. Alrighty. I almost said that, <laughs> Matthias. God, he uses the same line of dialogue every time. Okay. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Okay. Well, my good man, thank you very much for informing me of the lower status of your employee here. It's very kind of you to make it known 
so that I wouldn't have to speak with him with such trouble amongst all the lower class I have to put up with. Yes. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a Diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What? I'm Qui-Con Bolton. <laughs> uh... Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellows left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matten. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Excuse me. Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as the dude's I was holding saying, a gun. It's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I prefer to keep him. Right. Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dasel here. An honest man and a good mechanic. Seems like you got a favorable trade, sir. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. Of course. I don't concern myself with what goes on past this landing port. The walkies are... Very difficult to deal with. No business sense. He means they don't tolerate cheats. No. I mean they don't respect the finer points of a good business plan. Give and take. That's why the Zerk Corporation simply takes. You'd have to take your question to the Zerker Corporation and the walkies themselves. I keep to myself. Uh, yes. Yes.